All right, Dan, thank you so much. 601 is your time this morning. FC Cincinnati is preparing to take the pitch tonight in the team's home opener at Nippert Stadium. But FCC leadership, they are still focused this morning on the team's future home, including one site that had received a red card. Now, your side reporter TJ Parker is live with in the West End with the very latest developments this morning. Good morning, TJ. Lots of back and forth with this one. Yeah, definitely. Good morning to you as well. Tamika Jeff Birding sent out a statement yesterday saying that they were still interested in the West End. They say they've been working hard for the past three months to bring a stadium here on this side of town. Uh, we've reported that they've been interested in the Stargill Stadium site here at Taft High School, and they're still interested in putting one near here as well. But they say uh, they haven't achieved the necessary political support to move forward with the stadium. But plans to build a stadium, though, seem to be derailed last month after Cincinnati Public Schools who owns the site rejected the team's offer of $750,000 per year and offered a deal for $2 million instead, which was turned down by the team. After that, Birding dropped plans for a West End site and turned to the other options in Newport and Oakley. That has now since changed and we're back talking about the West End. Birding took to social media last night asking fans to keep the faith in this process. He joined us on this week in Cincinnati back in January, and his efforts remain the same to bring a stadium to the loyal FCC fans. Look, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you got there or when you get there. It's just that you get there. You want to win. And, uh, and uh, it's, there's no question the process has been a little more involved, uh, but not in a bad way. Now, Birding originally told us that he would have a site picked up by the end of March. It is April 6th and still no site. FC Cincinnati, by the way, has their home opener tomorrow against Louisville. Again, we'll continue to follow this and keep you posted on any new developments. We're live in the West End. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.